Hello, boys and girls. I am very excited about today's reading because we get to learn about three different cultures through the eyes of three special human beings, Sanu, Eric, and April. This story is called How My Family Lives in America by Susan Cucklin. Now we're going to be reading this story in three different parts. So make sure you click the next link for the, to learn about Eric and April. Sanu, Eric, and April are American children with family just like yours. They have parents, grandparents, aunts, and uncles who love them and take care of them. Year after year, their families celebrate special days together in special ways. Because Sanu, Eric, and April each have at least one parent who did not grow up in the United States. Their family heritage is an interesting mixture. Some traditions remember from a parent's childhood in another place are kept alive in America. And sometimes with the help of Sanu, Eric and April, new traditions have started. Here are their stories. Here is a picture of Sanu, April and Eric. So today we're going to be reading about Sanu and her West African traditions. My name is Sanu. A long time ago, Sanu was a princess in Africa. My brother, Badu, was named after a famous warrior. He's glad about that. We have these names because my daddy was born in Senegal, a country far away in West Africa. He moved to America to go to college. My mom, Bu Dijen, and my mom, Bugor, which means daddy's mommy and daddy's daddy, in a language people speak in Senegal, still live there. When we visited them last year, I learned all about the Senegalese part of me. I learned to call mommy Yai and daddy Bai. Mom, Bu Dijen, and mom, Bugor, gave Badu a drum and African clothing. He dresses African style every chance he gets. Here is a picture of Sanu and his, her little brother Badu, parents, father and mother. I have an American grandmother too. She lives in a city called Baltimore where my mother grew up. My mommy's mommy comes to visit us in New York City on weekends. Then she teaches me about good manners, about being neat and clean, about standing straight and tall. Grandma sings to us the songs she taught mommy. Our favorites are Precious Lord Take My Hand and Hush Little Baby Don't You Cry. When Badu tries to play along on his African drum, it doesn't sound like Africa. During the week, I go to mommy's work after school to help out. The thing I like about mommy's hairdressing shop is that it reminds me of how people look in Senegal. In my daddy's village, the girls weave a kind of cloth into their braid. This is called a Senegalese twist. I'm only five, so I'm still learning how to make a regular braid. Sometimes daddy picks me up after his work and takes me shopping for food. Daddy knows how to cook African style. Together, we buy carrots, cabbage, eggplant, tomatoes, yams, and cassava, a vegetable that is like a potato. Daddy likes to tease mommy. In Africa, the wife gets the food and cooks it too. You're in America now, my mommy says, laughing. For a special meal, my daddy fixes chem u jen for lunch, just like fam his family in Senegal. Chem u jen is rice and fish and vegetables. For this meal, we invite my daddy's relative, Fifi, Sambo, and Hussein to join us. Before we eat, we all wash our hands the way we did in my father's village. I want everyone to hurry up. In Africa, my father says, the children must be patient and wait their turn. You're in America now, I giggle. And this meal, 
At this meal, everyone dresses like people do in Senegal. We put a cloth on the floor, not on the table, since it is the custom to eat on the ground in Senegal. Everyone eats together from one big bowl. Here's the best part. We get to eat with our hands, not with forks and spoons. Daddy shows us how to squeeze the oil out of the tam tembujin. While we eat, we hear stories about our parents when they were little in Senegal and in Baltimore. Mommy says how lucky we are to be African Americans. And here is Sanu Badu and her family um, eating uh, from a bowl together with their hands. And if you notice, they have a cloth underneath, not a table, so that they can all sit on the floor just like they do in Senegal. If you're interested in making this meal, here is the recipe. You can follow along on the recipe and make this special meal and eat just like Sanu and her family. Hope you enjoyed this story. Click on the next link to for part two and to learn about Eric 